Dichotomous thinking. One concept that I often talk about in relation particularly to adherence, but that actually applies to really everything that we do down here and perhaps more areas of our lives than we might realise, is this concept of dichotomous thinking. All or nothing, black or white. And from my experience, it's an approach, a mindset, if you will, that probably holds most of us back more than anything else. It's what causes us to not do anything when we could do something because we don't think it's worth doing, because we're not able to do, for whatever reason, the, the ideal version. It's what means that when we can't come three times in one week, we leave it till next week. It's what causes us to overconsume one evening and then decide to write off the rest of the weekend, the week or the month, and start again at some point in the future. And it's powerful to realise that in nearly every choice in life, there are shades of grey in between those two extremes. There's maybe the ideal version of something, there's maybe the opposite end of the extreme, but there's all sorts of different versions in between. There is exercising down at rise twice or once. There is doing a home workout, whether it be one off the app or just going for a run or doing something else. There is something in between eating like a nutritionist and an Olympic athlete and eating like an absolute maniac. We can just choose to make a decision in the middle of that. And telling ourselves that I'm all or nothing as some sort of justification for those decisions at the other end doesn't make any sense. We are not fundamentally all or nothing. There are plenty of other areas of our life where we've made those choices in the shades of grey. We're just using that as a justification for doing stuff that at that point we valued doing. We wanted to overeat because it made us feel better at least momentarily. Telling ourselves that I'm all or nothing like it's some sort of condition that we've got will not help us. Remembering that whatever decision we're faced with there are shades of grey between those two extremes is probably the most powerful way that we'll enable ourselves to make average decisions that will take us in the direction that we want to go in.